There have been ugly scenes as union members picketed an LNP lunch on Brisbane Southside. It comes as a new poll exclusive to Nine News shows support for the government slipping and Clive Palmer's growing. Treasurer Tim Nichols knows how to handle the electrical trades union. Queensland assets on the sale! But first term LNP backbencher Freya Ostapovich obviously can't. While a minder made a half-hearted attempt to hide it from the TV lenses, the former psychiatric nurse chucked a minor wobbly, along with some camera gear and a witch's hat. Previously famous for linking abortion with breast cancer, the memo today must have been to show some maroon. But Ms Ostapovich provided a bow-tied gift to anti-government campaigners who say the government doesn't care. They don't listen. The best way to send them a message is to actually not vote for the LNP. Unions are joining forces in July's Stafford by-election and they'll be buoyed by a Together Union poll. Taken last night, provided exclusively to Nine News, it shows the LNP on 36.6%, down from 37% on one taken earlier this month, and the ALP on 32.1%, down from 32.6%. I think they will judge the performance of this government and our Premier very positively. And then there's Clive Palmer looming in the background, whose figures are growing by the day. Approval for the Palmer Party has grown from 12.3% to 14.1% in weeks, and it's yet to choose a candidate in Stafford. Clive Palmer's preferences will determine who governs Queensland. At least the LNP's Stafford candidate has a sense of humour and a novel way to get noticed in this campaign. I don't think I would use that tactic for a serious by-election about serious issues. The polls suggest it might be a closer race than we thought. Shane Doherty, Nine News.